so we're just going to start off using my Revlon Color Stay foundation and stippling that into my skin. And using the same stippling brush, I am just going to blend it out and down my neck also so that we have a nice one color all throughout. And what am I going to get next? My Sephora, um, it's just a mineral powder. It's completely translucent. So I just like to set my face with that because it keeps me from getting oily all day long. And it just keeps my face looking matte. Now I'm using Benefit Stay Don't Stray just to prime my under eyes. I find that it helps a lot before putting your concealer on. And then next I will be using Benefit's Erase Paste and just putting that right over the top of where I put the Stay Don't Stray for an absolutely flawless under eye look. Now using NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer, I'm going to go in and contour around my face. And NARS Deep Throat just to give my cheeks a nice little pinky glow with a Sephora stippling brush. And using a Maybelline eyeshadow in Champagne Fizz and my Too Faced Flat Kabuki brush, I am just going to give myself a nice little highlight, comb out my brows a little bit, and using Maybelline's Master Drama Eyebrow Pencil just to find them a little more. Now using Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion, I'm just going to prime my eyelids, and then using Half Bake out of my Naked Palette, I will just be applying that all over my eyelids. Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of funny. I've been sick lately. Now, using a fluffier flat brush, I'm going to take the color Virgin and just apply that right up on my brow bone and also in the inner corners of my eye. Taking a fluffier blending brush, I'll be using the color Creep and just applying that to my outer corners, blending it in through my crease a little bit. And using Vert, I'm just going to use that to blend together the golden color and the black color. Now using an Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencil, I'm just going to line my lower lash line. And using my Tokidoki felt tip liner, I'll just be creating a winged effect on my upper eyelid. Which I really, really like the more winged eyeliner look for this look because... I don't know, it just makes it a little more dramatic, and I like things dramatic. Now using my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in 23L, I'm just going to give myself a nice champagne highlight in my inner corners. And voila. Using my Tweezerman, I just forgot the words for them, Tweezerman Eyelash Curlers and my Maybelline Mega Plush, I will be making my eyelashes nice and voluminous. I really, really like the Mega Plush Mascara. It takes about two or three coats to get it really pumping up your lashes, but it works amazing. I also am a big fan of the falsies, but I need to go pick some more of that up. So, I like to use them together a lot. And using my Benefit Lip Plump, it's also a lip primer. It has been my very, very favorite thing to use as a base on my lips lately, especially because my lips are so pigmented. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and pat it in and blend it before I use my lipstick, which is a NYX Round Case Lipstick in the shade Pumpkin Pie, which is perfect for this time of year. I look so fascinated by it. And just apply that all over your lips. The thing I like about these is you don't need a gloss because it does have a very glossy finish. Hopefully I am in the frame right now because if not I'm going to have to refilm this, but that is okay. I just got done filming my fall makeup tutorial and I really, really hope you guys like it because I love this look. I've really been wearing it every day that I wear makeup, which really isn't that often, maybe like once a week, but I really like it. So now I just kind of wanted to do a fall outfit of the day for you guys. I am just going to start off with my accessories. My hair I'm just wearing straight. I'm wearing my plugs like I do every day, and then just a little pair of owl earrings that I got from Delia's for, I think, $6, so not bad. And to match those, just a white enamel owl ring. It's like a whole finger ring, like a knuckle ring kind of thing. Like, you can bend with it and everything. But I got this ring from, um, Wet Seal, and I don't think it was too much. I think it was only 5 or $6. And then as for bracelets, I'm just wearing this studded, spiky bronzy golden something or another from ASOS. This is like $13 and I got so much wear out of the silver one in the summer so hopefully I'll get a lot of wear out of the bronze one in the fall. And then as for my little leather wrap bracelet, I just got this from Michaels down the craft aisle where they have like all the beads and whatnot. Um, I have nothing on my nails. I've been trying to grow my nails and get them healthier so nothing is on there. Um, oh yeah and it's for my necklace. I got this from Little Black Bag, and it's just this, like, 
tusk? I don't really know, but it is definitely a statement necklace. It's very, very big and bold, so pick the outfits you wear this with wisely, but I loved it with this outfit. It goes really well with this ring, and I just thought it was so cute for fall. As for my shirts, I got my undershirt, which is a light yellow camisole. I believe I got this at either Forever 21 or Wet Seal. I can't remember which, so... But all sorts of places sell tons of different colors of camisole, so I'm sure it won't be hard to find. And then my shirt, I just have the sleeves kind of rolled up a little itty bit so it just kind of exposes my wrist. Keeps it nice and warm still. I got this at, um, I think, yeah, Hollister. Found the little birdie. I couldn't remember if it was Hollister or American Eagle. It's the Hollister birdie. And it's just really comfy and super soft and really warm. Oh, and if you guys noticed any black or brown or discoloration on my hands, it's from where I dyed the black into my hair last night. This is called shadowing. If you don't like it, please keep your opinions to yourself. I like it. I did it for me, not for you. So I hope you like it. That would be cool. But if you don't, everyone's entitled to liking their own thing. So, yeah, my hands are a little stained black. I just washed them like two minutes ago. My hands aren't dirty and gross. As for jeans, I'm just wearing these. I can't remember where I got them. I think I got them at Deb's. And they are just a pair of jeggings. And they're just really nice and soft and comfy. And I love wearing jeggings in the winter. And um, when I get, or more so in the fall. In the winter, I like to wear denim. But in the fall, it's kind of just... It lets you breathe enough that you don't get too hot, but it keeps your legs warm enough that you're not freezing whenever the cold air is a coming in. As for shoes, I hope you guys can see and hear through all the leaves, but I just got these shoes from Charlotte Russe last year. They are fake brown leather, and they have this really cute braiding detail on them. It's like a little belt, like a braided belt, and it goes all the way around the shoe. Um, they don't zip or unzip at any point. They are just slip on, super cute point-toed and like little teensy baby barely there kitten heels. I got these at Charlotte Russe last fall for I believe around $40. It definitely wasn't more than that though. And as for these, I hope you can see them. I'm going to back up some. These sort of mossy green socks. These are so cute. I love pairing socks over these boots. I don't know why. It just gives it a really cute comfy girly feel. These, I can't remember the brand name for the life of me, but they were about $20, and I got them from um, Carmelo.com. At first, I thought it was kind of ridiculous to pay for socks, but I love them. They're super comfy, and they keep your toes nice and warm, and they are very cute and just kind of make your shoes a little bit more girly and fun, so I love, love, love those, especially paired with these adorable shoes, and they are fairly comfy. I like them. They're not so easy to get on, though. So that kind of stinks, but I really, really adore these shoes. So I hope you guys are enjoying the fall weather. I hope it's starting to cool down wherever you are. The fall is the best time of year. And I just hope you're having a good back-to-school season. Um, if you're not in school, then enjoy. Well, there's not really a back-to-work. You work all summer, and it sucks. You don't ever get a break from that. Enjoy school. Work sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go now because I'm just babbling, but I hope you guys liked this. I really adore this makeup, and I think this outfit is super cute and really, really nice and cozy for the fall month, and that's it. I just keep saying ands and um. Bye, everyone. Okay.